a little bit of a clearing here and I've come across this flooding, flooded spot, which again is pretty nice, but the lake is over there. I'd like to go that way, but I can't, well, I can, but I'd get soaked. So I have to either backtrack or skirt around that way. I think I can go around that way and then down a bit and then come across out over there. And then hopefully I can come back around to this area on the other side of the water here and see what's there. Finally, after a bit of a ways, and when I thought of turning around a couple times, I managed to come to the end of the flooded area. And it looks like I've picked up that old trail again, which this is the other side. There's the flooded area. This is the other side and the lake should be down over there, if not still over there. And I think the trail goes around and curves around this flooded area somewhat. I'm going to go a little bit further down and then come straight across because it's raining even harder now. My glasses are fogging up and I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm going. So uh, I may have to cut this a little bit short and head straight back to the car. But we'll see what happens. They are calling heavier for heavier rains around this time of day. And it's uh, about quarter after 11. So I may just say wait for another day and head back. Even after five days of heavy rain, I'm still finding trees that have dry spots. And then this one over here too, which is a straighter tree. And the one spot to the left going right up is bone dry. I wasn't really paying attention until I came across this one in particular because it had such a narrow band of dry and wet bark. So, I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'm just on my cell phone, Galaxy S4, Samsung. But uh, the rain's just picked up a little bit more. And uh, uh, you can see it coming down on the water there. My phone's starting to get wet. So I may be doing less videos and more looking around. If I come across anything that I think you guys would want to see, then I'll, uh, I'll definitely either take pictures of it or do a bit of video. But uh, I think for now, until I get back to the car at least, then maybe one, maybe two more. That's about it. There's another big tree right straight ahead. I don't know if you can pick it up or not. That has dry sections to it. Okay, I came across not very long after I said I wasn't going to post anymore, I came across something interesting. A three-tiered, I believe it is, beaver dam. Right there is the first. I don't, can't really tell what's beyond it. And then coming across here, and then just over here, one sec. And here, there's the first one over there, just over there. Here is the second one, right here. You can tell the rain's really coming down now. Which uh, goes down into this area over here. Now, again, all the excessive rain's bloated everything here. But uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna venture, I'm gonna cross the dam very carefully. And uh, I'm gonna go over here I see what I can find and then I'm heading straight back because it's coming down pretty good. So I crossed the beaver dam, which is down there. Went up a, not very far. Found out I couldn't get access through back towards the car that way. So I turned around and came back and decided instead of going that way towards the car, like a smart person would in this rain, I decided to climb up to this rock to get a bird's eye view just what I'm looking at. And then, when I get to the summit of this very high rock, I find the third beaver dam over there with the makings of a lake on the other side. I don't know if it's the same lake that I was looking at before. 
again, I am definitely coming back here to find out. I'd like to go over there at one point. A little precarious. Need better, way better weather. 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 I'm starting to get a little chilled because even though I have a cheap Canadian Tire poncho on, it uh, sucks. I put it on and I broke the hood. I realized I could have fixed it well after the fact. So the toque I'm wearing is wet. My head is still warm, but it is wet. The rain is cold, temperature's dropping. It's raining fairly hard. And I'd like to come back out here. Because I'm thinking even here, down there, would be a decent sight. So, I know, I'm pretty sure that's the old trail there that wraps around and goes that way. So that's the way I'm heading. I'll get back to that striped dry tree in a minute. There's another one there that's dry. It turns out I lied about how many more videos I'm going to make before I get to that one that I said I was going to stop and to the car because I keep deciding to make videos. I've come across another beaver dam. Now, I'm wondering if it's the same family. I can't really tell. There might be another one just beyond that, well, a little ways down from that fallen, this fallen log here. I can't really tell. But the car is that way. I want to go that way and explore. Could this be the same family of beavers that the other three were? Comment below. Tell me what you think. I found more droppings, animal droppings, like I did in the first one. And that's leading me to believe that they're beaver droppings. Again, comment below. Tell me what you think. Maybe you've seen it before. You can let me know. Yeah, it's droppings, but I am kind of interested. I want to come back here. Well, came across a milk crate, thought it was the one I saw earlier, and I was looking for the large campsite that I marked as a waypoint, and couldn't find a damn thing. Turns out, this is a different milk crate in a completely different area. So now I need to figure out where the hell I am and which way the car is. I think it's that way. But then again, more than likely it's probably that way and that's the way I'm gonna go. Yeah. Well, if I get lost and die out here, I found those pink trail markers again, so I'm assuming somebody will find my dead corpse. Just kidding. I'm going to go back down to that pink trail and follow it out because I think it leads right where I need to go. Well, there's the site. Turns out, I follow the remnants of the trail. I hit the milk crate, the first milk crate. I turn left, and there's the campsite, the large campsite. So. I'm back. I am very wet. I can wring out my sweater because the poncho is just cheap and Canadian tire-ish. But again, just like before, there's the trail leading in. Um, I may come out here for the long weekend. I don't know. What do you think? Does it look interesting enough to you? Post a comment below. And uh, See you next time. I almost forgot. As a little side note and a shout out to uh, a friend of mine who all through the week last week said, yes, I want to come. I want to come hiking with you. Even though we knew it was going to rain like this, this person backed out at the last minute last night and said he had a little too much wet weather yesterday and he didn't want to come out today. So. Shout out to Winky, you missed a great time.